progress isn't always linear. It's not always forward moving. Sometimes you will go through a really awesome period of realizing all the work that you've done has been a good positive thing and you can express your your progress in a way of like last week where I had those uh, heavier loads and the higher intensity and was able to really display the strength that I had gained in the last training block and this week is kind of the downswing of that where uh, just about everything feels heavy and tough and that's the nature of the beast. It doesn't mean that I got weaker, it just means that my body has more of a fatigue deficit and it's more stressed now from all that and I've got to kind of find a way to work through it. Um, overall this session uh, kind of had ups and downs. A big a big thing about what was happening in this session was that garage was incredibly cold yesterday. Um, I am getting a heater uh, from Home Depot that I will be using whenever it gets here, probably in a week or two, and that will hopefully help, but it's it's getting below 30 degrees here now and the garage is not very uh, well insulated. My roommate likes to park his car on the other side and so whenever he opens that door all that heat is gone and uh, pretty much starting from from scratch every time I try to work out now. Uh, but you, know, you deal with the situations you have and make the best of it. I was not particularly happy with those 505 squats. I did four doubles. I think I only showed you guys two just because I wasn't even worried about filming them. But uh, I didn't like the consistency of my position at the bottom and so I dropped the weight back down to 405 and did some more triples just trying to maintain position integrity throughout the movement and not let my chest collapse down on the back, not let my hips tuck under and pelvis dip under just because I was being lazy because it was tough. So I tried my best to uh, display a little bit better control in these back offsets and I think it worked and I think overall what that's going to do is it's just going to continue to act as a reminder to hit my cues and do what I need to correctly so that I'm not wasting energy by cutting depth on squats at a heavier weight or uh, just practicing the wrong things. You have to you have to aim for perfection in every single one of your reps. Um, there's you know there's going to be breakdown if you get fatigued. There's going to be form or muscle failure that begins to happen, and you accept that and deal with it in a heavier set. But you're always pushing to try to have a perfect rep because the reason you're doing the reps a certain way isn't to make them look pretty so much as it's to make them as efficient as possible so you can have the maximum amount of force on the bar and put you in your strongest positions. That's why you do it correctly. It's not because uh, you want to please everybody on the internet. I, could, I mean, if I did a terrible, terrible good morning squat every single time, but that was the best position for me to be in, I would have no issues doing that. But in reality, it's just not the case. Uh, moving on to the bench pressing, I still was feeling very beat up from all the volume I put in last week and uh, especially with that loading that I had so I just did singles at 315 but they actually got easier as I went I think a lot of it was that I was getting warmer and the space was getting warmer and so after a few singles at 315 where I felt like the bar was actually accelerating more I put on 355 and decided I would just press it for one final single and it moved pretty well I think that's about uh, how I'd like it to feel at this point in time, especially with how tired and beat up I expected to be on that if the squats were indi any indication. So overall, um, not the most amazing session ever, but it definitely has its place in the training block, and uh, I'm just excited to be back to the grind. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like rating. It really helps the channel out. Comment, subscribe. I love to hear from you guys, and I love it if you join me on the journey. Uh, ben Rice Apparel, the t-shirts and the Strength Crew stuff down in the description below with all the other social media links. And yeah, uh, more stuff coming up this week. So thanks again and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.